everyone, Christy Lynn from ChristyLynnMusic.com and welcome to Harp Help, where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. Today we're going to be looking at four reasons why I think it's important for every harpist to make videos of themselves playing the harp. The first reason is motivation. Making videos of yourself is a good goal to aim towards and it's a good way to keep yourself progressing with your music. I started YouTube a number of years ago when I didn't have enough opportunity for performing and I wanted to keep progressing with my music. Creating a video every week or so was a way to keep myself increasing my repertoire and learning new pieces. Especially if you upload your videos to YouTube, it's a great way to have a concrete measure of your own progress and that's really motivating. It's also encouraging when people start to comment on your videos. Generally people are pretty positive and it's great to build a community of people around you who are also interested in harp music. The second reason is because you'll have an online CV of your harp music. Whether you're performing professionally or just for fun, it's really great to be able to send links to people where they can see you playing the harp and get an idea of what your performance will entail. The third reason is because making videos of your harp playing assists in improving your harp technique. When you watch videos of your own playing, you can see things in your performance that maybe you didn't realize when you were actually playing the harp. You can self-analyze, look at your technique, your hand position, you can listen to your phrasing, and you get a whole new perspective on your own playing. And the fourth reason is because of all the supplementary skills that will help in your growth as a harpist. When you create videos of yourself playing the harp, often you would talk about the piece you're going to perform, and I found that talking to the camera has actually helped with my stage presence in live performances. Creating videos has also forced me to think about my personal image and how I present myself as a harpist. I've also increased my marketing skills and I've learned a lot more about promoting myself through the internet. And of course I've learned a whole lot about how to make videos. And these are all important skills that we don't get taught in our harp lessons, but to be a well-rounded musician I think it's important to develop some of these skills as well as improving your playing. So if these ideas resonated with you and you're feeling motivated to create videos of yourself playing the harp, you don't need expensive equipment to do so. I made a video last week about how you can make good quality videos using your phone camera. So if you'd like to check that out, here's a link. Ooh. <laughs> So if you'd like to check that out, I'll put a link here and up in the cards and you can go and look at those strategies and tips that I mentioned. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because I'll be putting up another video next week Thursday. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions you'd like me to address in my next Harp Help video and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!